Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Vijay Girtori. And in this video, I'll explain you how to create a webhook in Jenkins. And here webhook is nothing but when our developer changes the source code in GitHub, then build will occur at that point of time in Jenkins. So previously I have created an Amazon EC2 instance and I have installed Jenkins on it. So now let's try to connect to our Jenkins and let's create a pipeline and let's create a webhook for that. So to connect to our Jenkins, we need to copy our public IP for address and we need to access with port 8080. So by default Jenkins run under the port of 8080, we need to access this. And here you can see this is the dashboard of our Jenkins. So now I will create a pipeline. So I will select new item and I will select here pipeline one. Here you can give whatever you want. So for example, I am giving pipeline one and here we need to select pipeline and we need to select OK. And here I will write a pipeline. So when we write a pipeline, here pipeline and agent any. This is common. So now let's write stages. And we need to give stages and stage. So I'm going to write first stage and I will give first stage like uh, clean workspace. And here we need to provide brackets. So here we need to write our stage. Sorry, steps we need to write our steps. And here I will provide clean workspace okay now i will create a second stage i will copy this and i'll paste it here so in this stage i will take the source code from github so here i will provide git checkout so I will remove this up to here and I will first apply and here I will use pipeline syntax and I will come to my repository and I will use this repository and here you can use whatever uh, you want repository. So here I am using this repository. I am copying my repository URL and here in pipeline syntax I am going to select git. Sorry and I will select here git. And here we need to paste our repository URL. This is my repository URL. And here we need to provide branch and this branch is main. So here I will provide main. And here you can see it was asking credentials. So if your repository is in private, uh, you need to give your uh, GitHub uh, credentials here. So here if your repository in public, uh, if you can directly select here, create a generate pipeline script. So it will provide a pipeline script. So you can copy this and you can directly paste it here so up to here we have done so here s is missing i will keep here okay and again i will copy up to here and i will paste it here so previously i installed privy on this so when i hit here privy hyphen hyphen version so here you can see this is the trivy version so previously i installed privy so I will scan this repository using Trivi. So here I will remove all this. And here I will provide sh Trivi fs and dot. So fs stands for file system base. So it will scan all the files. So here I, here I am going to change Trivi file scan. So at last uh, I will do one thing, I will copy this again and again I will paste it here and here at last I will provide here message msg and again I will remove this and using echo I will provide like build success. So this is the one I am providing. So I will apply and I will save this. 
So here I will I will select build now. Right now first build is going on. So let's see output parallelly. So this build will complete uh, very fast, guys. So here you can see git checkout completed. Trivi file scan is going on now. Trivi fsn dot. So it will generate a report. So after completing this, let's create a webhook. So here you can see this is the Trivi file scan report, and here you can see build success and it was throwing success message. So okay, uh, let's remove this and uh, let's remove this output. And here you can see. Right now we have only one build. So let's create a webhook for this pipeline. So to create a webhook, first you need to directly go to your repository. So you need to select settings. And here you can see you need to select webhooks. So here you need to select add webhook. So you need to select this. And here you can see under payload URL, directly remove this. Directly remove this. And here copy your Jenkins IP address. So this is my Jenkins IP address. I'll copy up to eighty eighty. I'll copy this and I'll come to Jenkins. So we need to paste it here. And here we need to provide GitHub hyphen webhook. So you need to provide same like this. You need to provide your Jenkins IP address with port eighty eighty, and here you need to provide GitHub IP webhook. So you can directly select here add webhook. So now let's check whether uh, webhook is configured or not. So here you need to see check mark, guys. Here you need to see this uh, check mark. So now let's come to pipeline directly. Here you can see. Right now we have only one build, so we need to go to configuration again, and here we need to select GitHub hook trigger for Git uh, SEM polling. So you need to check enable this, and you need to again apply, and you need to save. So here you can see, right now we have only one build. So we, again I am showing you in configurations we need to select GitHub hook trigger for Git SEM polling. So you need to enable this, and you need to write your pipeline. And I am going to apply, and I am going to save, and in web. In GitHub, we need to go to here. You can see. So this is the repository which I am using. So you need to go to settings. So under settings, you need to go to webhooks. So we need to select here add webhook. So you need to create your webhook. So you need to see here check mark. So let's go to Starbucks again, and I will change. I will commit. I will do some commits here. So right now here you can see. Right now we have only one build. Here you can see right now we have only one build. So here I will do some of the commits. So I will open this Docker file. So here I will change any of things, guys. So here I will change expose port four uh, thousand to three thousand. So when I select here commit, so again I am showing you. Right now we have only one build. So when I come here and right now I change it this four to three. So when I select this commit changes, and when I select commit changes. Here you can see commit has been occurred. So when I come to this pipeline, and here you can see automatically it will change. Here you can see build two pending. Here it is in pending state. Here you can see build two uh, started. So here you can see build two also completed. Here you can see. So when I open this, now output you can see it was generated each and everything. It was taken the source code from GitHub and the trivia scanned all the files. And at last, in third stage, here you can see build success, and at last it was showing success message. So this is how you can trigger your webhook. So here, right now we have only two builds. So again, I will uh, build. So again, I will do some of the commits here. So let's uh, do commit in some other file. So I'll open this all repositories, and this is the Starbucks one I'm using. So I'm opening this. So here uh, I will change in. I will change readme file, guys. So let's change this. Starbucks hyphen project. So this is the one I am giving. So when I here you can see again I am showing you. Right now we have only two builds. So when I come here and when I select commit changes and when I select commit changes, automatically build will occur, guys. So let's come here. You can see third build. It is in process pending. It is in pending state. And build will occur. Let's wait, guys. 
here you can see build has been started so build also completed so here you can see this is the third build so when i open this output here you can see it was taken the source code and the trivi scanned all the files and everything and uh, success so this is how you can create your webhook in jenkins so to see this directly come to terminal and here you need to go to cd web lib jenkins and workspace so when i hit here alum here you can see pipeline one so i'll come here and here you can see we have given name like pipeline one so when i when i enter into this uh, pipeline one cd pipeline one and when i hit ll here you can see all the files uh, of our repository so when i come here uh, and uh, i will open you the repository again and this is the starbucks which you are using and here you can see all the files and you can see all the files in this uh, in this path so you need to go to varlib jenkins workspace under workspace uh, you need to go to pipeline one and here you can find all the files so yes guys that's it for today's video and after completing this if you want to remove your webhook directly come here to settings and you directly go to webhook and here directly select delete and here you need to select yes delete webhook so here you can see okay uh, webhook has been deleted let's go to here and uh, that's it for today's videos guys and if you like my video please do like share and subscribe to my youtube channel guys and see you in the next video and bye